Good morning. I hope your toaster is not in an existential crisis today. Right, so I stayed at the hospital last night and some big thoughts last night because I didn't sleep very well. Kind of just, the mind was just churning. So let me explain because I think it's really good. All right. I saw this one kid on TikTok and he, it's the same thing again and again. He like, he uses things to see how many of them can like hold his weight. So like how many bags of glitter, how many bags of flour, etc. Really good idea. And the views just get millions every time. And so I have been thinking for the past like maybe like half a week, <clears throat> maybe even before we had the baby. But I've been thinking like, how do I make something similar that goes viral and is like low effort, but fun to watch? I've been racking my brain through ideas. Anyway, I've come to an idea that is like how many or how much in 60 seconds. By that, it's like how many Kleenex can I take out in 60 seconds? How many noodles from here can I crush in 60 seconds? How many bags of glitter can I open in 60 seconds? And the list, the list goes on, all right? But there's still this part of me I'm st I still have this fear that I, I shouldn't be doing it because it's stupid, it's dumb. But who, th this is what I'm trying to tell myself, who gives a shit? Who cares? Here's what, the goal, why shouldn't our goal in life to be I don't, I don't know if this is going to come out right, to do as little as possible to get the most as possible. That seems so counterintuitive, doesn't it? But let's say, like, what are the things I really want to be doing in life? Yes, I love making videos. I also love hanging out with my wife and my kids. I love, I, I would like to go maybe travel a bit more, maybe do other fun things I don't have to make a video on because I know that it wouldn't do well as a video etc. The line goes on, like, how can I spend more time with my kids? And there's this fear in me that's like, oh, people are going to think I'm stupid, or I'm a dumbass, or like, I'm 32, why am I doing something like that? But actually, all of this would be designed around driving traffic, essentially, like, sounds bad, getting my face out there, to the point people are like, oh, it's, it's that guy who does those videos. Oh, did you know he also has a YouTube channel? And then you, we're here and we're, we're vibing. Oh, I don't know. Um, so I thought, I, I, do you want to see how many ideas I had last night? Pod vlog quickie. That's not going to work, is it? Because it was yesterday's note. Uh, all right. How many bags of glitter can I open in 60 seconds? How far can I travel on Heelys in 60 seconds? How many times can I put Croc Sport Mode on and off in 60 seconds? How many Pringles can I stack? How many Oreos can I stack? How many Oreos in my mouth? How many bubbles per piece of gum? Like, so I, how many pieces of gum? I chew a piece of gum, blow a bubble, then I move on to the next one. How many of those can I do? How many ketchup packets can I open? Like, literally just the most stupid things. Um, but I think they could do really well. They're so stupid and mind-numbing that that is TikTok. And I think I, I realized just in the shower that I want to create, I want to make content that's more me on TikTok. But how do I do that? Because I also have really enjoyed doing my previous style of videos. Why, why can't I do both? And I've been thinking that I have to stick with the same piece of content, the same like storyline type of content, but just find a way to make that more about, not about me, but show more of myself in that. And I don't know how to do that yet. So I think that's a gradual thing. So I think as I try and figure that out, I can do those videos on top and hopefully make some money off of those.
So I thought, let's do one this morning. I don't know if there's enough like Kleenex in here to do the Kleenex one, which is annoying. There might just be enough. No, there's only like 15 or 20 in there. Uh, maybe, like how much of this can I pull out in 60 seconds? It's got three yards. Yeah, so that, that's not going to last 60 seconds. How many of these noodles can I crush? Like how many pistachios can I open? I'm pretty limited in what I can do right now because it's 7.15 and I don't have too much available. Just thinking, maybe I'll do the noodles one first. And I'll film it on here, but I'm going to film it vertical because I need maybe this phone to show the time, to show the like timer. So yeah, this part, the next part will be vertical. Let's see. How many bits of Mac from No Cheat? How many mac so how many pieces of macaroni can I break in 60 seconds? I didn't realize they were that small. I can't even do one. Am I going to have to chew it? <coughs> Just eat some of the cheese powder after. Like a fun dip. Okay. Are we ready? I'll set the timer. One minute, five seconds. Come on. Is it on? Yes. Go. I'm gonna clean this up. <coughs> Terrible idea. Terrible idea. caught in my throat. I can't believe I'm doing this. I should have bought the water. Why are there crusties in it? What's the white stuff in there? What is that white stuff? All right, as promised, let's try this. I'm not, I've never liked mac and cheese. It seems like it's a very American thing. I'm not into it. Oh yes, looks good. Okay. Bit of cheese. It's like a knockoff Cheetos dust. One more. All right, that was, so now we're obviously, that was weird. I, um, I didn't love it. I was expecting them to be much bigger. Obviously they expand. 
All right, I'm going to go see Kobe. You imagine this, a 32-year-old man just done making a video of cracking macaroni in his mouth, and now he's going to go see his son in intensive care. He's doing well, though. He's doing really well. It's now just a case of, like, uh, letting him regenerate his strength. Right? There's no, like, concern he's not going to make it. Okay, so let's go and do that. I'll see you, I'll see you in a bit. Got some more ideas. I'm pretty sure I counted 29. That's terrible. I'm pretty sure I counted 29 and my... <clears throat> I just counted 29. My... I just count... I did just count 20... I counted 29, my life goal has been 30, so maybe we'll do it again. I just counted 29, my life goal has been 30, so maybe we'll try again in the future. I just counted 29, life goal has always been to hit 31 at least. Didn't quite make it. All right, I've been holding Kobe for the past couple of hours. Couple of hours past like three hours. Uh, this is weird. <laughs> Would you like to sit on the bed with me, darling? But, <sighs> come on in. The water's warm. Oh, I did it the wrong way around. Come on in. The water's warm. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. I've had a bit of a thought. Um, and it came from looking at how, how do I do branded videos for brands? Like, what's my goal? Is it top of funnel? Is it for, to make content for them to be able to repost on their profiles? Or is it to drive sales? And we know that none of my content is around driving sales. Like, I hate the idea of me getting paid to say something so that you buy it. Honestly, that's how I feel right now. I think that may change. But if I think about where I am as top of funnel, I think all of my videos are top of funnel stuff. Nothing's about selling. And how does that link in with what I'm saying? I've been thinking so much about like being uh, less like punchy. A bit. How do I explain this? I've been thinking about making content on TikTok that's less like in your face and punchy, therefore likely to get less views because I want people to get to know me a bit more to then drive traffic to the pod vlogs, to this. And I've realized, uh, and then I've been trying to do different things that would drive traffic to here. All I really need is just large amounts of views. Let's say like, all I really need. What I'm wanting is something that's top of funnel to drive lots of views so that people are like, who is this? Let's go and figure out some more. So then they come down to the pod vlogs here, which I think is where, like, I don't know if I want to use this term, but where you as a viewer get nurtured, where I nurture you. I don't know if you can even see my facial expressions. So on the ideas that I mentioned this morning, those are like dumb, silly ideas that would just get lots of views. But if I can be known as, like it's that guy who does that how many thing, or whatever this you know materializes into, then you become that kind of, let's say household, not household name, but you, reach this place where people are talking about it. people are talking about who this person is and what they do and you become you you reach this space of okay i see this guy everywhere i have to go and figure out like what is the deal what's his thing what's going on here in which case they end up coming to here and they realize either this guy's a flipping idiot or they quite like just the style of this video
all of that has helped me realize that actually my TikTok is top of funnel. I should be focused on making a video that generates lots of views versus caring too much about what people you know, are showing the real me or like building that community. Like given TikTok as it is, I don't think TikTok as a platform is about building community at all. I think it's about exposure. I think TikTok as a whole is top of funnel. And I need to be treating it as top of funnel. Why do I think it's top of funnel? I think it's top of funnel because the majority of views on any video come from the For You page. Random people seeing your video for the first time maybe. And so it's not about trying to develop a community with those people. It's about trying to get your face and what you do and like your message. So in case, in my case, my message is about having fun, not caring what other people think and like challenging yourself, experimenting with things. So once people get an idea of that, where was I going? I was going so well as well, wasn't I? Uh, I was talking about top of funnel. That's right, for you page. Rather than trying to nurture a, a new viewer, like I don't have the personality type to be like in your face, to like grab your attention. I don't, I don't, I do speak fast, but I don't have that kind of energy. Like all of that would be forced. And so I don't think I don't think I, this is the way I feel, I don't think I have the personality to be capturing your attention like that on TikTok. But I do think I have the concepts and the way I maneuver myself around those concepts to be able to grab that attention. I mean, I say that, that sounds like a ridiculous thing to say if I don't have any experience behind me, but like from previous videos, I have that. So my plan, maybe do one or two storytelling videos a week. I'm thinking maybe just one of those a week and then try and do a couple of these stupid how many type of videos. Like it'll take me, let's say 10 minutes overall to film it, edit. Shouldn't take me long, maybe 15 minutes. But I need to keep in my mind that I need to, I need my TikTok to be top of funnel. And the goal of my TikTok is to drive traffic to here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right. That was my thought. I'm gonna chill for like five, 10 more minutes. I came to get some snacks as well. And then head back over, see Kobe. Dude, I, my mind is just racing on all the ideas that I have. Let's -a go. Okay, sorry. Uh, one other thing I was thinking about is one video is to do how many pumps of hand sanitizer can I do in 60 seconds? Dumb as hell idea. We can accept that. And I thought, oh, I'll just use this one. But there are two reasons I'm not gonna use this one. One, because it's not mine. And two, because this is a good opportunity to use a brand that I could potentially partner with in the future. If I just use this, I'm missing out on a potential opportunity. Like if I use, I don't, I honestly don't even know the name of any of the brands. Like Purex, is that one of them? If I go for a brand like Purex and have that in the video, and I later on think of another concept that I would like to pitch to them, I can use that video to show like, look, I've used your product before. Here's how it went, etc. So that's something I'm focusing on too, which is annoying because like, let's say this was mine. I would then wouldn't have to go and buy a new one.
and then like boxes of tissues. There are tissues bloody everywhere in this hospital. And actually, I did ask for a box of tissues. And I thought about using that. But then I thought, that's kind of weird to ask for tissues. Because that's stealing, isn't it? We don't like that. Even though the mac and cheese thing was not mine. That was like in this break room area here. Is that stealing? That's kind of stealing, but I feel like it's less stealing. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I gosh. And I've already done the video, so it's not like I can just put it back. We live and we learn. <laughs> you know, I think for the next, I don't know, couple of weeks that it's situations like this, maybe not a couple of weeks, week, two weeks, uh, where, you know, we're switching on and off with Rugi and we just don't have much free time. These uh, walk sections with some random gameplay over the top might be quite nice. But also, um, I guess my point was going to be that I think this is what I'll have to do for a bit to get a bit more of my thoughts down on here. So that's when I have the time to. Uh, kind of a, well, I guess first thing is I filmed the um, noodles cracking video earlier, obviously. I haven't edited that one, but I did go to Walmart and buy a load of things for some other ideas I had, just like pretty cheap things. Also, I did ski, I mean, this was part of the shop. Part of my idea to do this was like the Skittles gummies, but then like 250 or 280 a bag, and they're like the same size as a Haribo Gold Bears or something. So I don't know what that's all about, and I felt like okay, let's test this theory with a couple of videos before I start buying things that I think are not value for money, <laughs> which is so ridiculous because I'm about to waste $11 worth of soda. Well, potentially $11, depending on how many I use. Of like, how many can I crack open in 60 seconds? There's a funny little message I have for that video, but I'll uh, savor that one. And then I had this thought, like Rugi and I were eating earlier and he kept coming over and stealing some of my food. Like he would ask for it. Stealing, ask for it. Actually ask for it. And it made me think about parents who say, oh yeah, and the bloody kids, they take all your food. As if it's like a bad thing. And I, I've, I've got a fair bit to say on this actually to begin with. So I'm also looking for doodahs, poopies at the same time. Uh, so it's one of these things that I think an adult doesn't really think about until it's really brought up. It's just kind of those like, that's the expected thing to do. And then um, you never think twice about it. I, th I really do, and I don't mean that in a condescending way because I, I find myself doing it too. But it's a situation of like I, this is the way it's done, this is the way everyone says it's done, this is how people like talk about it, so I guess this must be it. And actually, when you think about it, that's, it's so good that you have that, and I put in like quotes, problem, italicized as well. <laughs> um, it's so good that you have that problem because it means you're spending time eating with them. Go on, Tito. Like, isn't that so cool? Like how actually that's, kind of a positive and just now I guess you just have to plate your own meal up knowing that the kid's gonna have some but that you get to share that experience together that's cool I was having a conversation with Dustin no I this actually wasn't how it goes Dustin made a comment on one of my videos that was the video was me talking about how I don't feel I've built a community or no it wasn't that it was about cold versus warm creators and cold creators don't really create much of a community warm creators do it's the type of person that when you see their face, you stop to watch their video. Well, not necessarily. Yeah, I guess because you feel like you have some kind of connection to them, whether it's good or bad. Like, let's say, I don't know, let's say you detest Logan Paul, but you see a catchy headline in his face. It's 
you know, might be some kind of drama if you're into the drama, unless you are the drama. But the point to all that was, Dustin's question was like, I feel like you have been doing a hybrid to build a community. To which I responded something along the lines of, you know, I thought I was building a community. I was thought I was doing the right things. But when you think of the size of my following on TikTok, not uh, meant as a brag, and then look at how I could post a video in the, or, or just look at the people that return in the comments or the people that you know I might DM with or um, the people, you know, even like Dustin that I text with and kind of work on some projects with. Why, like I love, you know, their community that has been built by us all but why is that not bigger? I feel like I am missing something and I'm not sure what it is. Like I mean all of that in the best way because like, somehow I'm doing something wrong to maybe not feel as authentic. No. Um, I don't know. If, to, for people to feel like, oh, I'd love to be a part of whatever this is going on. Or maybe I just haven't made it clear enough. I, I don't know. And I think it's something I have to work out. Yeah. Or, yeah, something I have to work out might come with time, but I don't know if you have any suggestions. Suggestions? Also, the flipping ages ago, flipping ages ago, I mentioned that I would try and teach this dog, Lila to not be such a shithead walking. Like this thing's an absolute honey roast ham sandwich. With Scottish faggots for brains. Well, I gave up on that. And that thing is no more. Come on, Duda. I guess I haven't really talked about this new, these new videos that I'll be doing on TikTok, the kind of much easier ones to do, the, the how many in 60 second type thing. Um, in terms of the layout, I think it's just an intro. I want it to be a bit more friendly, like with something you know, funny. Uh, like today I did, you French hens. Or like, hello French hens. This, uh, I'm, I don't know, whatever the bloody video was about. And I just stated that, basically. It hasn't done particularly well. Um, so, but I'm, uh, uh, sorry. And then from the intro and the hook, it then moves into straight into doing the challenge thing. It's not really a challenge. I can't call it a challenge. There's nothing challenging about it. Apart from trying to get around my own pride for making this type of video, but I feel like it's it's also one of those great marketing, uh, like how social SEO, which is where you either, you create your own social media accounts as fan accounts, and you start posting loads of clips as if like you have fans cutting up and posting that content and creating accounts for you. It's genius, I think. But, you know, based on how we were talking earlier about top of funnel and trying to get people to move or shift all the way down to here, and then people start to actually see who, like, Oliver Wright is. And if they like it, like it. If they don't, they don't. I think, I do, I do think it is weird that I kind of just speak my mind as openly as this. But I don't really see any... I quite enjoy it. I really do enjoy it, actually. Um, I don't really have anything to hide, so it's not like I have to be careful with what I'm saying. But always very interested to know if other people have thoughts that go through their head, like the same way that I do. Is it normal? Where do I ask that kind of question?
Do I go to Quora? Do I go to Reddit? I don't know. I've never really been into Reddit. I don't know if that's something that you are into, but I've never really gotten into it. I really like Quora. I really like the idea of reading people's responses to things. Whereas Reddit um, is more like thread-based stuff, isn't it? I know Quora has that too, but Reddit's more thread. Like you go for, it's real, I don't know if it's community, but it's people who are really interested in one thing, you know, in that area. I think it's, I was, who was I talking to? Maybe my dad the other day. It's so cool that we have places online for people that are into like really specific niche stuff and they can connect with people across the globe who are also into that and like they would previously never have been able to speak to each other like known they even existed to you know to nerd out on what they're doing that, like that's so cool now Uh, I do have some videos due to do tomorrow, so if I can get them done in the morning before Ruggy wakes up, that would be brilliant. So it's going to be, I think I'll do the, I can, I mean, hopefully I can do a couple of videos, like opening pistachios, uh, how many pumps of hand sanitizer in 60 seconds, uh, what are the other ones, how many cans of, you know, how many cans can I pop? How many cups can I stack? How many shots of sparkling soda? Fizzy water. So I think those might be kind of fun to do. I just need to remember to not think about it from a... I want to not think about it from a TikTok perspective. I want to think about... Obviously the hook has to be thought about. But the rest of it, I think I have to just think about doing it the way I do this. Like, it's just super casual. And then I can cut it up afterwards to make it make more sense. Because by doing it super casual, I naturally can tell the story in my own way. And that way, you know, I, I, ha I then have two forms of content that go on my account that hopefully should work. <laughs> and those two being the storytelling style and the how many in 60 seconds, where I kind of like tell parts of stories during that. I should really, like I want to get to a point where I'm telling, you know, a story just well. Yeah. Like following my own storytelling formula. So I just like, it's so close to being in a place to be able to tell the story in that right format naturally. All right, well, I'm gonna eat some biscuits. So, some cookies. So I will see you tomorrow, bright and early sunshine.